What's up everyone? Welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. I have a new build in the workshop, so stay tuned. So what I have right in front of me, right here, it might not be noticeable for everyone, but this right here is a tractor. This right here is a Alice Chalmers Type C tractor. This tractor was one of the most popular tractors back in the day. They made them in a couple different configurations. Alice Chalmers made an A, B, C, and W or WF, which was very similar. Right now, as you guys can see it, it is brown. This is only a primer, um, which I will then further on paint to orange, which are the true Alice Chalmers colors. But for that, I'll do that outside in springtime. But for now, we're gonna focus on the rebuild of this. So what I have in front of me right here are the bones of the Alice Chalmers tractor. So what I have in front of me right here is the torque tube, which goes from transmission to engine, which it will be up front. I have the transmission and the differential right in this part right here. I have both axle housings right here and I have the wheel axles right here that are visible. Up this way I have the steering column that goes from up here all the way down to here which then mounts on here moving forward to the front wheels. I'll give you a close up on this and then we'll move from there. if you like the content that you're seeing because in the future we'll have some amazing builds right here and hit that notification bell to be one of the first ones to see these new updates on this Alice Chalmers C. So without further ado, stay tuned. Okay, so right here from the transmission forward is the torque tube on this Alice Chalmers. When we look at on the inside right here, this is where our clutch will be. Uh, on cars, this is more or less the bell housing. On the top right here, this little plate right here, which is actually cast iron, um, will fit our tank, which will go about up to here, all the way over here, and that's why this is on a little radius right here. Right here, as you guys can see, this arm that goes down here, and all the way up is our steering. So our steering wheel will be right here. And as we turn left or right, that will go all the way down to there. And as you can see, we'll turn our wheels eventually with another linkage. Right here in this desired hole, that's the place where we'll put our starter. Looking on in the back, we have the shift lever right here. And on this tractor right here, we have one, two, three forward gears, and the fourth is reverse. So, and that's our neutral right there. As you guys can see right here, the wheel axles are exposed on this tractor, all the seals have been replaced throughout this whole skeleton of tractor. All the covers have been sealed with UTV sealant and the brakes have been replaced as well. So what we have, we have new brake shoes and we have new brake discs on both sides, so left and right. The spring right here will still have to be adjusted when it's uh, all together and all the linkages are there. But as you can see, it already comes back pretty well. 
and these brake liners or brake shoes and discs are brand new so we're gonna have a good brake system looking in the back right here as you guys can see something is still missing what I'm gonna be adding right here is the PTO and the back cover so the PTO shaft will be driven uh, straight or in line with this shaft right here and the belt pulley will be coming out on a 90 degree angle to the left of the tractor when we're looking at it so this side um, this gear right here is your PTO engagement right here and I will be modifying something right here that this engages properly um, and yep that's what I'm gonna do and coming on to the left side again the left brake has been done as well what I did I went ahead and 3d printed some special washers that this brake shoe does not move left or right as you can see on the right here and left they are 3d printed parts and that will still allow the brake shoe to move or close and open but not let it move left to right which could cause wear onto the brake drum and I have that on both sides as well so right here in front of me I have the wheel weights they are on top of each other this is uh, like a two-part wheel weight the wheel rim uh, gets bolted to the wheel axle right here um, at the same time it acts like a weight but from the inside on these two nuts there are weights bolted on so it's a rim weight at the same time and then we have these special nuts that go around on four spots as you can see here and they get bolted to the rim which is basically uh, just a tire on a thin wall rim and this gives it then strength as well right here right behind it right here I do have the engine this is uh, rebuilt it's already painted orange but uh, it, it's only been painted with one coat so when I do get the frame painted and this that everything is the same color Okay, so looking forward on this project right here of the Alice Chalmers. This will be put together in a way so I can paint it outside when it gets nicer because I do not want to do this inside. I will be installing the engine up front. I will be installing the PTO in the back, the cover, and the wheels in the back and front. After that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, some linkages have to get mounted for the brakes and for the steering and I'm pretty much done I don't want to attach too much since I will be taking some parts off again for the painting process But until then I can look forward to putting some things together right here And I hope you guys can learn something. So stay tuned